Usually it's the boys who tip things off on the Fox 40 full court press, but when teams like Oneana and Seton face off, you simply can't ignore the matchup. Plus, where's our manners? Ladies are supposed to always go first. With that said, let's go to Seton where this one was very, very close. Second quarter, the Saints break the press, find Gabrielle Ferragrasso behind the arc, 4-3 and Seton now leads by three, but back down the floor, here comes Oniana and Sienna Weiss. She takes it very hard to the hoop, goes baseline, and the Yellow Jackets narrow the gap down to one point. Later on in the half, a mishap by Seton here, and the pass goes off the Saints' back. Dania Nicosia, she's taken advantage, but Seton, they get the last laugh as Oniana is undefeated no longer. They fall in the last couple of seconds, 52-50. Over in Binghamton, the 15 ranked Lady Fighting, Chris Whalen's host, Ithaca, and they sure did make CW proud tonight. Tiana Mills going strong, then gonna little move right here, dishes the rock over the Madison Ward, and BHS leads by 32. Here's more bingo later on in the second half, and more Tiana Mills, this time going strong to the bucket herself. She gets the bucket and the foul, BHS not done. Off the inbound, Phoebe Burns spots up for three. This one not even close tonight. The Pats make the Little Red feel even smaller, 76-38. Finally, in SV, the Sabres host the Purple Tornado of Norwich, the 22nd team ranked in New York State. On the fast break, Hannah Runyon running all over Susquehanna Valley. Count the bucket as Norwich takes the lead by 10, but SV makes this one interesting in the first half. Norwich applying the press, the Sabres have no problem. Caitlin Coe. She's going to get the easy deuce. SV cuts the deficit down to six. Then just before the end of the half, Sabres down three. Brianna Callahan knocks down the three, but that's as close as it gets for SV. They fall by 20 in the second half to Norwich, 56-36. And we are not done tonight. Let's go for more to CW. After giving all that love to the ladies, what do you say we throw a little testosterone into the sportscast? Check out what the boys had to offer. And Vestal main end while visiting after losing to Ithaca last night. Early first quarter, Emmy up 3-2, and the Spartans double their scores. Max Sinicki finds nothing but net from downtown, 6-2 Spartans. Vestal goes down the court and proceeds to cut that four-point lead in half as Dave Kilmer gets the rebound and the putback, 6-4 Emmy. Less than a minute in the first quarter, Hal Shepard grabs the loose ball and feeds to Nate Burgo under the basket. He lays it in, 13-9 Spartans. In the second, the Golden Bears battling back. Dan Kern starts the play with a pass, then finishes it, getting the board and the basket. And Vestal hands Emmy their second loss in as many nights, 47-42. The class of 2010-2011 being inducted to the ME Sports Hall of Fame at halftime of the Vessel ME Girls Tilt. Second quarter, Emily Birchall finds Lauren Kozlowski in the corner. She drops the tray. 20 for Kozlowski on the night. Lady Spartans lead by 11-25-14. Vestal sticking around before half. Off the inbounds pass, Shannon Walker to Emily Priesendan. She finishes it off 27-16 ME. Then more from the Spartans in transition. Victoria Dean with a long pass to Jamie Burkew makes it 29-16. And the Lady Spartans go on to win. 49-33 to Johnson City we go, where the littlest Wildcat fan was rooting his team against Owego. Second quarter, Ryan Clark increases the JC lead with the triple from the corner. 32-25 Wildcats. Indians answer right back. Mac Matt Warchaki pops and drop pops and drops a three of his own. 32-28. More from JC. It's Clark again getting the pass down low from Ian Pettiford. 34-28. Owego keeping it close as Mark Merritt makes his way to the hoop, lays it in for two. 34-30. Then the Wildcats get defensive. Troy Robinson blocks the pass, then scoops it up and heads to the hole for two. Robinson, Pettiford, and Clark all with 16 points as J.C. wins 74-57. Columbia, how about the play of the night? Uh, coming in at the play of the night, a play so sweet we put it on repeat. You just saw it. Troy Robinson, the theft. He was a great receiver on the gridiron today. He's kind of the defensive back in the interception, taking it all the way to the house. Defense in the offense, the theme for the whole season. A good night for Johnson City as well as they win as Troy Robinson gets the play of the night. Let's go to CW for the stop. For the stop of the night, we take a look at SV's Kalen Coe. All 5 foot 11 inches of the senior were used to stuff this Norwich offering. Because of Coe, SV kept things close in the first half, but Norwich would pull away winning by 20. But that doesn't stop the Sabres from taking home the stop of the night. Well, transitioning to hockey now, where after such a great year, Jerry D'Amigo's career has taken an unexpected turn this week. D'Amigo was loaned to the Kitchener Rangers. 
And because of Domingo's age, he was eligible to be sent down to the Canadian Junior League. This season, Domingo has scored five goals while playing for the American Hockey League's Toronto Marlies. Talking about the AHL, the B-Sens lose in overtime 4-3 after trailing 3-1 in third. Good effort, but they fall just a little bit short by one goal against Norfolk. 